Okay, so it's that time. The big reveal. Okay, so we are on day one of God knows how many days. This is the current state of my office. I do have a washer and dryer in here, and so this is like chaos too. But this is the current state of... Hey, what's up, girl? This is the current state of my office before I get started. I just wanted to do a quick sweep through. I know I put it on Instagram, but you know, it doesn't hurt to uh, always do more. Hey, look, there's some tags. Quick sweep through my wonderful shipping station that I absolutely love. It has been completely taken over by supplies and trash, so I'm really excited to get this back looking the way it should again. And then, sorry if I'm making you guys motion sick. And then there's all this inventory. And then my desk. So the end goal is going to be my photography area and the shipping station behind me are staying in the same place. However, my desk and this rack area, they are completely getting swapped. So that is the end goal. This is gonna go over here. And this is gonna go over here. I'm gonna completely paint everything. This dark wood is going away. I'm switching out these curtains because these curtains were my stepdaughter's when this was her bedroom. So I'm completely switching those out. I feel like I have a lot of work ahead of me, but my first goal, day one, is to get this room cleared out as much as possible so I can actually maneuver and switch things around. Oh boy. Okay, we're at the end of day one. I'm gonna just get rid of that rack, but I do have to stop. I was able to work for a good solid two hours, but now I have to stop with the progress and kind of do a little bit more here and there, but I got a lot accomplished, I think, compared to uh, the way it was before. Yeah, uh-huh, I think so. This area is still kind of a, uh, a mess and such. And I do still need to pick up trash. Trash is always like the last thing I do when I'm moving things out and trying to like redo a space. Trash is definitely the last thing on my mind. So I just wanted to like get crap out of here. Unfortunately, that means that a lot of the crap is now in my hallway, but a lot of this, like this is a giant box of eBay tape. There's some packing stuff. There's some boxes. Uh, so a lot of this stuff will be eventually moved back into my office once I can organize it, but a lot different, I think, for a couple hours worth of bust in your butt. We'll see where it goes from here. All right, I've got everything moved, pulled, getting ready to start painting. Just wanted to sweep the room. I've already kind of started, oops. Spoil alert, that's kind of the color I'm going for, just a really light gray. And yeah, this is the area where I photograph. So all of that's already white, so that's getting blocked off, but 
all of this dark is going bye-bye. We're starting to paint today. Okay, is this day four? I don't even know. But went ahead and I've taped, I didn't film all that because that stuff's boring, but I went and even all of the bottoms, all of that, I got everything all taped up because now I'm going to be painting all of that dark stuff. Let's get to it. Okay, so it's that time, the big reveal. We're gonna go in to my office. <gasps> Here we go. Oh, I can't even believe that this is the same room. Okay, so we're gonna go on a pretty detailed tour here because I'm just gonna be honest I want to show everything off okay so first off first off check out these light switch plates yeah and then when I took tape off it peeled off some of the uh, the paint so I'm gonna have to go back and touch up some of the trim but check out the light switch covers Okay, so one of the things that I was the most excited to show off from the little remodel is the fact that I put this curtain rod up here. Um, I know a lot of you guys have seen it in my live streams. You've seen the curtain, uh, the curtain rod up there because you've seen the curtains hanging behind me. But the whole idea of it is because I have this white wall here. Hey, there's my shadow. Hello, shadow. I have this white wall here for photographing against, hence why I have a mannequin right here. But I don't always like photographing on the white. So I wanted to have an option to have a darker backdrop if I wanted it. So that is what that is there for. And it's not an expensive backdrop or anything. It's just a curtain. I think I got it on Amazon 
for like 15 bucks. I am going to link everything that I have purchased for the office in the video description if you guys are interested, but like I got that on Amazon. I got this on Amazon. Now this one, I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to use it in photos or not. I mostly just got it because I'm using rose gold as an accent color in this office and I saw it on Amazon and I absolutely fell in love with it so I just hung it there because it looks pretty. Honestly, that's the only reason why. I did go ahead and upgrade my rack to a commercial grade rack. It's so much more sturdy. It doesn't fall over anything. Um, I did get extendable hangers. Whoop. So if I do want to hang, and I do have that little monkey hook there, if I do want to hang, these are extendable. So you can have just a regular size or a wide, and I didn't have to like create a jumbo hanger or anything. So this is where I hang everything that needs to be photographed, and then in this bin is everything that I have photographed. And then of course, all of the painting, all of the painted trim and everything did hang up some, some nice things. Hmm. Did just some nice white curtains. And then my shipping station did stay in its place, but I did go through and make sure to organize everything. So I know all my regional A's are here. All of my regular mailing boxes are here according to size. And then the padded flat rates and then the regular flat rates. And then underneath here, those are like shoe boxes and medium flat rates. So now I can like find everything. And then I decided to put my printer over here on my shipping station and get it off of my desk, which I really appreciate. Um, and then we stuck one of the old curtain rods up here to hang some tape on and some ribbon and all of that because I did have one of these hooks already for thank you stickers, but rod for using that there. And then of course up here, just multiple storage, some eBay boxes, and then of course, Back here I have all of my eBay tape and then it goes all the way, that box goes all the way down to the ground. Just more eBay tape, some more poly mailers, boxes. This is all full of different decorative poly mailers. And then we have just a little bit more inspiration there. I love all that. And then the new desk set up. This is not going to stay here. I'm probably gonna hang it somewhere over here. I just haven't done it yet. So, but I love that too. And then I did get a new office chair because the black one just didn't fit in. So I went with a gray and a white. I did get that one on Amazon as well. And then I upgraded my microphone and got a new uh, arm and set up for all of my audio. Just some fun little, fun little holders there. And then still the same computer, but I did go ahead and get a little bit of a, a stand to put it on to just elevate it a little bit so I wasn't looking down. There I am. Hello, hello. <laughs> and then just little bit more, just fun stuff. And then this is my favorite part of the desk right here. Absolute favorite part right here. So these two little block signs I picked up at Gordman's and then the mouse pad, this little cup and these adorable pens. Those all came from Amazon. And then this lamp, I actually picked up at Walmart. So the lamp is from Walmart, these are from Amazon, that came from Gordman's, but it's this adorable little setup. It makes me so happy when I sit here and look over at it. And then just, you know, trash can, lamp, some more signage. And then over here, it's a nice decluttered corner that I can put the mannequins in. I can stick my lights over here. And then, yeah, we're just gonna have to ignore this. This is uncompleted. I have new knobs and um, the screws don't fit, so I have to get different screws. But behind here, this is just a washer and dryer. That's all that's there. And the little table that I use when I photograph to put things on. 
there's <laughs> more light switch covers. The whole office has been redone. That's all of it. Seriously can't even believe that this is the same room. And I'm just so happy and I'm glad that I put in just a few finishing details like the curtain and the little, um, just the little pretty things on my desk. I'm really glad that I went ahead and did something like that because when I'm sitting there working, that kind of stuff, you know, it brings me a little bit of joy and the whole purpose of redoing my entire office is I wanted to make it a space that I was happy to be in so that I could be more productive and I could get things done a lot faster and be actually motivated to be in the room to work. So I feel like all of those little details that I added really did accomplish that for me. I love being in here now. It's so bright and pretty. It's so pretty. And then of course I have my shipping station is a lot more organized. I have everything out of the way. It's completely decluttered. I have, you know, everything I know that needs to be photographed right here. There's no question about it. There's no listed inventory mixed with unlisted inventory. I love it. I love the space. Now the next place I have to tackle is the basement. But that's going to take a lot longer. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up so that I know. Do not forget to check the video description. I will put all of the links to everything I showcased down there. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. And if you have not subscribed to me, I sure hope that you will. Thank you again so much for watching. I will see you with my next video. Bye.